Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Do you have multiple Lightroom catalogs that you wish you could combine into one main catalog? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. I have three different Lightroom catalogs and I want to combine those into one main catalog. Now, you're not limited to three catalogs. You could have 20, 30, 40 different Lightroom catalogs and still be able to combine them into one catalog doing what I'm going to show you. Now, what you need to do is open up the catalog that you believe is going to be your main catalog. This is the catalog you want all those other catalogs to come into, combine with, to make one main catalog. For this demonstration, I have this catalog. Now it only has 100 in, or it has 74 images in it, and it's actually a single folder of images from a place near where I live. It's called Hamburg Beach, not in Hamburg, Germany, but in Hamburg, New York. Anyway, these 74 images are in this one catalog. On my desktop, I actually have two other catalogs. One is called Hoyt Lake Number no. 1 that has some images in it, and a second catalog I called Hoyt Lake Number no. 2 and that has different images in it. And I want to take both of these catalogs and combine them into that main catalog, Hamburg Beach. Now again, just open up Lightroom and make sure you have open the catalog that you're considering your main catalog. So that's this one. Then Go up to File, and then down to Import from another catalog. When you do that, navigate to your computer where the first catalog is that you want to bring into this main catalog. For me, it's Hoyt Lake number one. What you want to do is find the file that ends with .lrcat. That's the Lightroom catalog file. That's this right here, Hoyt Lake number one .lrcat. Click Choose. When you do that, you'll get a dialog box that will pop up with some options. You don't have to bring in every single image from the catalog. You can see on the right-hand side, we have a preview here of all the images that happen to be in this catalog. If I don't want to import or bring in any of these images, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner of each of the thumbnails is a little checkbox. Uncheck it and you won't import that image. So you could uncheck as many as you like. I'm going to bring in all of them. Now over on the left hand side, you have some options for file handling. Do you want to add new photos to the catalog without moving? This means these files are on my system somewhere. If I use this choice, they won't be moved. They're gonna stay exactly where they are. They're just going to get added to the catalog. All the edits will be added as well, but this catalog, this main catalog, will look for the images where they currently are. That's the choice I want to use right now. But you have some other choices. You could copy new photos to a new location and import them. If you choose that, what it will do is it will still leave those original images where they are. It will just make copies of them and then you'll be able to tell Lightroom where you want to put those copies. Then this main catalog is going to look to that new location for those images. Um, don't import new photos at all. Well, we don't wanna do that, right? We wanna do that first one. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to add these images to this catalog. They're gonna stay wherever they are on my system. All the edits will be coming with them. Now, this part is grayed out. If I had any duplicate images, I'll have options of what to do with those duplicates. Now I will in a moment, I'll show you what to do here. But right now, this is very easy. So just, you know, I'm going to take all of these and add them to this catalog. I'll click import. And again, it's leaving them where they are on the system. You can see it's done already and it added 33 images and you can see it's called Hoyt Lake. And this is the date these images were taken. So it's in that folder structure. So, so far, so good. Now I want to bring in that third catalog into this main catalog, right? So we're going to go up to file. We're going to go down to import from another catalog. And then 
We're going to go to Hoyt Lake number two. Again, I got to look for the .lrcat file, which is right here, and click choose. Now, this is a little different. This one has three images in it that are already in my catalog. And you can see that as we look at the postage stamp grid view here, three of them are grayed out. These are the three images that are already in the catalog. Now, what do I want to do? Well, first of all, I do want to add the new photos to the catalog without moving them. So just like I did last time, these other eight images will stay where they are on my system. They're just going to get added to the catalog, and then Lightroom's going to look to the location where they are right now to find them. But what do we want to, what do we want to do with these three existing images that are already in my catalog? Well, we could do nothing, and then we'll just import the eight that aren't in the catalog. Or we could just bring over the metadata and develop settings only. So what will happen is if the edits are different, the dates are different, any metadata is different, it will overwrite the images that are in the catalog right now with that new metadata. Now what you can do is you could preserve the old settings as a virtual copy. So I have three images that are doubled up. What will happen is if that preserve old settings as a virtual copy is checked, the actual image files will get the new metadata from this catalog that I'm importing, but Lightroom will create a virtual copy and the virtual copy will get the metadata from the original image. So that's, you know, that's good. You won't, in that case, um, let's say, keep the wrong one, let's say. You'll have both. You also have the um, option to copy the metadata, develop settings, and negative files. So you're going to make another copy of the negative, negative files, the raw files. And if you check here, you'll also make copies if they're not raw files, if they're a TIFF, PSD, JPEG, or PNG. You'll copy those as well. So we're going to double up on our images. I don't want to do that. I don't want double images. Maybe you do. You want images in one folder duplicated in another folder, and the metadata is going to be different. The you know edits will be different. That's fine. But in this case, I want to conserve, conserve drive space. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to check the middle one, and I'll create virtual copies that will have that original metadata on them. Now, if I just click import, all that was for naught because it's not going to do anything because these three images, I don't have check marks in them. So you have to manually do that. Manually go up there and put those check marks. So now all 11 images have check marks on them. And you can see over here, we're all ready to go over there and we'll click import. So there it is, it's done. Now we have in the Hoyt Lake folder, we have two different folders. We have this one, remember those eight original images? Um, there were 11, right? But three of them were duplicates. So in this folder though, we have the eight original images. But in the other folder where those duplicates were, if I go up there, you'll notice, for instance, this was an, an, a new image that was a duplicate image. Here is the actual raw file and the edits, the metadata were copied from the new file to this raw file and a virtual copy was made, it's right next to it, with the old metadata. So we, you know, I purposely made this one black and white and the other one color so you could see that they both are there. Um, here's another one right here. Here is the original file that was already in my main Lightroom catalog, but it got copied, the metadata got copied to it from the one that I just imported. And then next to it is the virtual copy that has the old metadata. And then next to that is that third one. There is the raw file that has the new metadata written to it. And next to that is the virtual copy, which has the old metadata. So I hope that made sense. So you could see how you could preserve your edits. If you had two different edits in two different catalogs, you could easily preserve it with this um, trick of making sure that you're creating virtual copies, or you could copy the whole negative file over and have double images if you'd rather do that. But you're, you know, if that's what you prefer, you could do it. And now I have one catalog 
that contains all three of those original catalogs. Now I'm going to minimize Lightroom for a minute. These are the two catalogs I just brought into that main catalog. You can delete them. Don't worry about it. Now don't delete the images. Wherever the images are in your system, don't delete them. So that's it. It's really easy to combine catalogs in Lightroom. And I hope this helps you. I know many of you have emailed me. Actually, quite a few of you recently have emailed me, emailed me telling me when you first started to use Lightroom, you kind of didn't know what you were doing and you inadvertently uh, created multiple catalogs and you're wondering how to get all those images into one catalog. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.